Yo guys, what is happening? Welcome back to Global Games and welcome to another episode of the Minecraft Modded City Let's Play series. Today I am pretty excited obviously and you might already be able to tell why looking behind me. In fact, I'm, I'm super excited. This is maybe the most exciting thing that's happened on the world so far, at least for a long time. Um, and I've already really shown it to you. You've read the title. It's cars. We've got cars in the game. What the heck? Yeah, it's crazy. Um, I was looking into some. I was looking at some car mods. First of all, I was discussing possibly doing it um, with our community ships because we have that mod already installed, and uh, and sort of building some cars like that with. But then that would require us changing all the roads, and the cars don't look that great anyway. So I looked into a couple different mods and eventually landed on this one, which has some really cool realistic cars, um, which are really awesome. We're going to check them all out today as well as a dealership that I built just to sort of showcase things. Uh, however, yeah, I'm just really excited. I wanted to keep the mods to a very uh, sort of limited uh, on this server or on this world, I should say, just because um, I feel like if you get too many different ones, first of all, you run into a bunch of issues. But also, um, I don't know, I want to keep it as vanilla as possible. So we have World Edit, obviously, and then we have uh, Archimedes Ships. We have, I think that's basically it. Yeah, Archimedes, World Edit, and the Car Mod, and I, I think that's actually it. And then obviously some Shaders Packs and whatnot. But yeah, why don't we start off here by uh, by heading over to the dealership. I'll show you guys all the different cars they have in this mod. I'll link the mod uh, down below if you're interested in, in getting it, or a, a link to their site or whatever, um, so you can check it out. But it seems like a pretty cool one. We're gonna really check it out and go in depth today here, and uh, let's see what we uh, let's see what we discover. Yeah. By the way, I'm also working on here uh, the possibility of the Santa Monica Airport. I'll go more in depth into these planes later. I've been trying to build a couple different ones. I think I'm getting there. This was actually partly based on a tutorial and then partly based on my own. I'll, I'll link the tutorial in the next video when we when I show you all that stuff. Um, but anyway, let's go ahead here and uh, and yeah, we, we will be working on an airport. And this is probably not big enough either. But let's let's go ahead here and get into the first car. One thing to note is that the cars are all branded. I didn't even know they're allowed to do this or if they are or not, but it's pretty cool. We got a Mercedes CL65 here, which I think it adds a nice little, you know, touch and makes things very realistic. It's almost like a purple color. Um, I'm just going to drive this car, and I think I just, by driving, I just have to click on the seat. Yes, we'll pop an F5 because I find it very hard to see anything from the inside here, but we'll pop an F5, and sure enough, you can see uh, that we're able to drive it. Now the interesting thing here, uh, first of all, note that when I let go of the uh, of the the forward arrow key or the uh, backwards one, or I guess W and S, um, it it will hold the uh, speed that I'm going at. So you can see I'm going 37 up in the top left corner of the screen, and that is going to stay the same uh, unless I click it again. Maybe I hold down the forward and we increase, but then the second I let go, it sort of stops at that and almost like a cruise control. Um, but you will recognize this area now. By the way, I'm doing a whole bunch of uh, development over there. And, uh, and whatnot, and I might show you guys some more stuff here, uh, probably next episode, I'll go through the actual buildings and the, and the streets and whatnot. This is a car dealership though that I had uh, built, and let me sort of show you how it works. The one thing that does kind of suck about these cars is that they're all entities, so you can't have too many of them uh, spawned at a time, otherwise I'd just, you know, go and fill the streets with them and it'd be, it'd be pretty boss. Um, but let me hop out of here, this is the dealership that I built, it's a very simple sort of design uh, on the corner here, lots of room in the parking lot. Lucky for me, the streets that we built still work with these cars, so I'll be keeping them as is, but the parking lot's not so much. I might be modifying a couple of these just to be able to actually fit the cars appropriately. Um, but anyway, here is the uh, here's the building itself, and it's pretty sweet. It's got, obviously, a nice showroom floor here. Uh, it's got a garage in the side where you can actually... Let me go into first person. What am I doing? Uh, I put a little button here with some command blocks that allow half the garage to open. Not the best design, I know, but I, I was lazy and didn't want to do the whole window thing, and then it automatically closes after some time. Anyway, there's a garage back here. You get into this area. Um, it's got a little staircase up into a little lounge. Um, and then there's also like a couple offices where you would actually go in and price out the cars, as well as this back room, which just has some vending machines with all the cars. Yeah, I try to categorize them so I could easily access them. And then obviously, I've returned this to a survival map. I can, you know, easily grab them all up with some prices and whatnot based on what I thought was fair. Um, not that I really know anything about car prices. But anyway, uh, I do know a bit about cars and that's why I was very excited to get this mod. So why don't we just start off here by heading in the inventory. We'll be trying out, probably going through each one of the cars uh, really quickly and then we'll, we'll see what we uh, see what we like, see how they run. I guess we'll take a couple of them out for some drives and and yeah, it'll be cool. So first of all, here's an overview of the whole mod. This is actually the Flans uh, pack, I guess, which comes with some guns and stuff, which I don't have working right now. I don't think these are all maybe car parts. Yeah, it looks like it. I'm not actually sure how these work right now, so I'm not going to go over them, but there are a bunch of uh, oh, metal cockpit. What the heck? Maybe this isn't for cars. I'm not sure. There's also a bunch of other stuff here that, that's not working. Um, but here's an overview of all the cars. I'm going to go ahead here and grab them all and place them down, take a guess maybe at what car they're trying to be. We'll start with these nine, and then uh, we'll move on. And I'm actually feeling a little bit of lag, I guess, from all the details on these entities, but they're all placed down. 
Uh, I'll start over here on the, with the green one here. This looks like, uh, what is this? I'm guessing this is like a Huracan uh, by Lamborghini. Um, it doesn't say, oh, it does say a little Lamborghini logo there and a plate, which is pretty cool. Yeah, overall, really nice little design here, green with the white. Um, we're going to just go ahead and go through these relatively quickly. This looks like an Aventador. And again, I'm not a car. Like, I, I know a little bit about cars, but I'm not super, uh, super sure about everything. That, that logo is not really centered up there. Interesting, but it is a pretty accurate logo. They've got a bunch of really cool interior stuff going on here. Uh, the, the sort of butterfly looking design on the back. YouTuber is a plate. I didn't even notice that. That's hilarious. This one, I don't know anything about like classic or muscle cars, I suppose. So I, I don't know what this is. Does it say a Shelby GT500? Okay, well, there you go. Then I guess that's, that's what that is. Then there's a Mercedes. I'm not sure what kind of Mercedes is. It probably says an SL65. Pretty cool. Um, an AMG, which is awesome as well. Tan interior with a brown uh, exterior color. By the way, you can't change the exterior colors, unfortunately. I did try looking at that, but it doesn't look like you can. Unless somebody knows how to, please let me know. But from the research and what I was trying to figure out, I, I, couldn't, I couldn't figure it out. All right, this Lamborghini, based on the headlights, I think looks like a Murcielago. Yeah, I think it is, right? So that's a pretty sweet one as well, white with a black interior. There are some duplicates of certain cars, uh, which obviously have different interiors. This is a an Audi, and this is a RS4, which is like a hatchback kind of vehicle. Pretty cool. It's like the sports one because it's the RS. And, uh, and yeah, looking pretty sweet. Another Lamborghini. I mean, you guys get the idea. I don't know if you want me to go through, like, everything in detail, so I'm just going to start to go through them quickly. This is a... Uh, Oh, it's a GTR. It's like a, uh, a Skyline, I suppose. A little two-door one in blue. That's pretty boss. And then we've got a very vintage Mercedes here, which looks really cool. I'm not sure uh, what model this is uh, at all, but it looks really sweet. Just to get them out of the way, there's also two motorbikes included when this, with this uh, pack. And there's like a green and a yellow version. I know this isn't a very conventional kind of episode, but I did just want to show you guys all these because I think it's really cool. Uh, we'll just go one by one here. This is a, another Mercedes, and I'm not sure what, what model this would be. Uh, it's an SL65 again. Okay, didn't we just see an SL65? I think so. I don't think it looked like that, though. Or maybe it was. It was a brown one, right? Yeah, SL65 in brown. Uh, that's interesting. This right here, this, actually, that kind of looked like a LaFerrari for a second. But I think, yeah, it's the, it's the Ferrari Enzo. Really funky interior colors on this vehicle. Some of them, by the way, have opening doors. I'm not sure you open them. Oh, there it actually says it. It's V, and I'm not sure if I can activate it here or not. Oh, check it out. So I'm inside the car now, and you can open the doors, and they go together, I suppose. So some of them do have opening doors, and that, that looks insane. Um, but yeah, that's that's also a pretty cool feature. What the heck is this thing? Is this a, uh, like, the Model T or whatever? One of those sort of vintage cars also was supposed to have opening doors, maybe? I don't know. But uh, again, a pretty cool one. Oh, yeah, it's got the opening doors as well. And the opening hood. Holy smokes. Very cool stuff. Let's get rid of the other Ferrari there. It's so another Shelby, but just in a different color wave. We also have a Lamborghini. Uh, looks like a Huracan. Yeah, I think so. It also, if I sit in here, has an opening doors, uh, which is pretty sweet. Are they on separate ones, or how does this work? I can only open the driver's side? Is that what's going on here? I'm, I'm not sure, but anyway, interesting. We've got the same Mercedes I showed you earlier in the video, uh, and then we also have another version of that. Hello? Hello? Oh, maybe it's, uh, I think this one's bugged out. Okay, well, this one's not being placed, but there's, I think, a black version of that. This looks like, yeah, a GT3 RS, actually, which is by Porsche. Pretty sweet. And then we have a, uh, ooh, what is this, an Audi? It's an Audi. I'm guessing it's just, like, the regular, would this be, like, a Q4, or what is this? Actually, it looks like it's a Q7. Oh, I got it. It's, but this doesn't have the seven-seater. I'm not I'm not sure. Uh, anyway, there's another uh, another Audi. Next up here, we have a, uh, a Rolls-Royce. I'm guessing this is the Phantom. Um, and it's pretty, <laughs> look at this, it looks like so decked out. You can actually go inside of it too. Got like little curtains and everything. Look at the dash with all the teak and whatnot. It's actually a pretty cool uh, model. Although it looks like something like a baller or like a rapper would drive. I don't know, <laughs> but it's interesting for sure. Uh, next up we have another RS4, but just in a different color wave. Uh, and then we follow that up with a, what is this? Another Audi base on that, I'm going to guess is a Q7. Yeah, just in black, but again, not the seven-seater. Not sure what's going on there. Anyway, next up we have a uh, just a Carrera S in gray by Porsche, followed by what looks to be a G-Wagon, yep, and this is like a gold and black one. Then a, uh, a red 911. There's a Bugatti here. This is the uh, the Chiron with the uh, with the circular sort of doors there, as, as far as I can remember, at least. I think that's what it is. Yes, it is the Chiron. I always forget they have the names. I could actually just check on this, but anyway, uh, this is an F40. It's actually a really sweet model as well. Cool uh, interior. Then we have what looks to be another G-Wagon. Yeah, just in a different color. A few more here. We have a, uh, a GT4, which is a club. 
A club sport? I'm not sure what that means, but it looks like a race car. Yeah, seriously, wow. Got all the decals and everything on it. Uh, we have another vintage Mercedes. This one's in black, which looks very sweet. But I think I like the red one that we saw at first. Yeah, that'd probably be my first choice. This is a Mercy Lago again, but in yellow. Another CL65. This one's in uh, in like a very sort of rose red purple kind of color. I'm not sure. Uh, this is, oh, it's a convertible. This is a uh, another Porsche, I'm guessing a 911 or a Carrera. Yeah, I don't know, um, but there we go. This is another Bugatti Chiron. Yeah, and it's in the red and black color wave. That one actually looks very sweet. Check out the model on that. I mean, just on the front here and everything. Whoa. They're pretty accurate models as well, which is cool. This is the same car that we just had, isn't it? I think it is. Yes, it is. I'm not sure why it's in there twice. Oh, because I picked it up again. Right, of course. So that is all the uh, all the cars. Actually, I lied. There are some smart cars here as well, too. Let's take a look at these. Got a yellow one, a green one, a pink one, a blue one, and then a red one with the McDonald's logo on the side. Oh, boy. Uh, those are those, though. All right, are you guys thinking what I'm thinking to kind of end off the episode? I have an idea. We built this awesome highway when we first started the map, and uh, it would be kind of a great thing for us to try to drive this car down, I think, as a great test of the mod, if you will. Also, you can access the inventory on these by pressing, I think it's N. Yeah, just like that. And then you have some cargo and some other stuff, fuel, repairs. Um, pretty cool. Also, you can use the space bar to have sort of a speed brake. Not sure if you can, yeah, it's sort of just like a really quick brake. I'm not sure if you can drift with it or anything like that. Let's try it here. No, not really. But it is a good way to stop your car quickly if you need to. Let's go ahead here down onto this on-ramp. You might see some new buildings that you haven't seen before. I've been working a lot on the world. But again, we'll go over those all next episode. I'm just too set on the cars right now. It almost feels like I'm ready to do another whole like world tour, even though we just did one. I've had so much stuff, though. A bunch of mansions, a bunch of different cool builds. Uh, obviously, my speed stand at 60 chunks per hour right now. Let's see how quick we can get it going. I'm at like full right now, holding down the arrow key. Looks like we can get to about 62.9 is the highest I've seen it go. I don't think we'll get to 63. But yeah, check out this road. It's so much fun to drive these on. It just gives us something else to do, obviously, in the world. It gives it a little bit more sort of realism and it allows you to actually use it like functionally. So definitely a, a smart mod to install. And if I take my hand off the key, it just keeps going, which is pretty boss as well. We're all the way up in sort of the south side of Malibu now, and uh, we'll leave it there. But um, yeah, it's it's a pretty sweet mod. I'm I'm very happy with it, and uh, it's 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 really cool. Only thing that I've noticed is actually, and I'll point this out, let's see if it works right now. When I'm in survival, you can't drive the car. Oh no, you maybe you can. Let me stop the car. Can I move it right now? Okay, I can. That was an issue that I was having earlier. Maybe if I get out and then get back in, then what happens? No, I can still drive it. That's weird. Earlier, I wasn't able to drive it in survival. Seems to be working now, so no complaints. Although, we can't get nearly as fast in survival as we could in creative. I wonder why that is. Throw myself back in creative. Are we going to be able to get past 30? Yeah, it's really strange. Anyway, I'm not sure why that is. And the car ran off without me. That is an issue as well if you don't stop. Uh, anyway, we are going to end it there. And there we go, guys. That's an overview of the car mod that I added to the modded world. Just thought that I'd let you guys in on that so you are aware of, uh, you know, an additional mod. And that should allow us to build some car washes, some gas stations, some uh, some car dealerships that are actually functional. They're there for a purpose, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, so we'll get all that stuff kind of going here in the next couple of weeks as we uh, continue working on the world. But with that all said, we are going to end it there. I'm, I'm pretty happy about this, so in case you couldn't tell. If you guys are excited about this mod, let me know. I'll, again, I'll leave a link to it down below where you can get it. And uh, and definitely try it out for yourself. It's a cool one to have. Uh, with that all said, I will end the video there. If you guys did enjoy it, please remember to go down below. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys all in the next video.